Understanding Neanderthal hunting tools and techniques offers a window into the daily lives and survival strategies of this ancient human species. Neanderthals who flourished in Europe and parts of Asia between 400,000 and 40,000 years ago faced a variety of challenging environments from ice ages to warmer interglacial periods. Their success in these diverse conditions hinged largely on their ability to adapt and innovate, particularly in terms of hunting and tool making. The hallmark of Neanderthal technology was the Mousterian tool tradition, named after the site of Le Moustier in France. This tradition represented a significant advancement in stone tool technology, characterized by the sophisticated Le Valois technique. In this method, Neanderthals carefully prepared a stone core to produce flakes of a specific size and shape, allowing them to create a versatile range of tools from a single core. This technique was more efficient and versatile than earlier stone tool-making methods and reflected a detailed understanding of the properties of different stones. Neanderthal toolkits were diverse, tailored to a range of tasks essential for survival. They included various types of points, possibly used as spearheads for hunting, scrapers for preparing animal hides, and knives for butchering. The crafting of these tools required not just physical skill, but also a deep understanding of material properties and a conceptual ability to envision the finished tool in the raw material. This level of sophistication suggests a cognitive capacity on par with modern humans. Apart from stone tools, Neanderthals were also adept at working with organic materials, as evidenced by the discovery of wooden spears at several sites. These spears, some tipped with stone points and others sharpened at the end, indicate that Neanderthals engaged in close-range hunting, often confronting large and potentially dangerous animals. This method of hunting was risky, as suggested, by the numerous healed injuries found on Neanderthal skeletons, pointing to close encounters with prey. The use of fire was another significant aspect of Neanderthal hunting strategies. While not a tool in the conventional sense, fire provided various advantages in hunting. It could be used to herd animals into traps or over cliffs, to process meat after a hunt, and to create clearings in dense forests. The control and use of fire demonstrate a level of environmental manipulation that speaks to the Neanderthal's adaptability and resourcefulness. Beyond the practical aspects, the sophistication of Neanderthal tools also provides insights into their social structures and cultural practices. The creation of these tools likely involved a form of knowledge transmission within groups, suggesting that Neanderthals had established methods of teaching and learning. The organized nature of their hunting parties implies a level of social cooperation and possibly hierarchical structures within their communities. In conclusion, Neanderthal hunting tools were not mere instruments of survival. They were manifestations of a complex understanding of their environment, materials, and group dynamics. These tools were a product of evolutionary adaptation and cognitive development, reflecting Neanderthal's place as an intelligent, resourceful, and resilient species in the human lineage. The study of these tools not only sheds light on Neanderthal life, but also helps us understand the broader narrative of human evolution, highlighting the interconnectedness of technological advancement, cognitive development, and environmental adaptation in our ancient past. This is an ongoing study and we will keep you updated 
Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.